What's going on? It's CVV, Chris Van Vliet, and you gotta check out Josh Denker's YouTube channel. It's called Josh's Toy Show, and if you love wrestling figures, this is the place to be. He has some incredible reviews there. So Josh's Toy Show, check it out. What's up, Josh here, back in with another video, and welcome back, guys, to another video. Today's video is a toy hunt video. This is Josh's Toy Show Toy Hunts number 36. Today, we're here at Target to see what they have today. Hopefully, they have some new uh, figures in stock today. I know the new Target exclusive Samoa Joes are going uh, in stock right now, so I hope they um, have them on the shelf today. Um, I'm also going to be checking some other stores here in the mall. Um, so, as you see right now, I'm walking over to the section right now. Hopefully, they have some great stuff today. It's still early, um, in the morning as the recording of this first clip. So, they should be stocking the shelves, um, and stuff like that. So, I will see you guys in the next clip when we get to the wrestling figure section. Alrighty, guys. So, here is the wrestling figure section. Nothing really too much over here, so... Um, I'm actually gonna take a look and see what we have here. So we got some AEW figures that have gotten restocked. So we got some Series 8 restocks. So we got Trent, we got Chris Statlander, Orange Cassidy, and oh my god. What in the world? Holy shit, I can't even get them off the shelf. They have Chris Jericho in the Painmaker gimmick. Yes! They got Chris Jericho in the Painmaker gimmick. Look at that. I've been trying to find this figure for a long time. This is actually one of my favorite attires. I might grab this one. Uh, yeah, this is the basket so far. Um, we got a Roman Reigns. Top picks. Um, we got some Bianca Belairs. They were sitting there the last time. And if you guys did not see the last toy, on check the description. We got a Brother of Love sitting there. Um, nothing really too much else going on here. I might want to grab another Orange Cassidy. Uh, I just love that way that figure turned out. I might want to keep this one minimum package. So, yeah, he looks pretty sick too. I know there's a new one of him coming out, so. Yeah, but I don't know why they're restocking Series 8. We're up to like Series 12, 13 already. Of Unrivaled, so. Yeah, so. I'll see you guys in the next clip when we look at the Marvel stuff. Alright guys, so here's the Marvel section. Same stuff as last time. So, they got, um... Uh... These Warlock figures. Still on the shelf. They're now on clearance for $4. You got the Flash. Um, as an update, one of the employees is gonna check for more AEW figures in the back. So, hopefully they find stuff. Spot here. Um, we got some roleplay items. That's some cool X-Men stuff. We got the X-Men jet with Storm. Then on this side, we got some figures. See, look at some of these figures. They're all on clearance. We got the Spider-Man wave. We got a bunch of them on clearance for like 17 bucks. Rose. We got Scarlet Witch from the Multiverse of Madness. These are these are new, I believe. Yeah, these are cool. And we got some other items and stuff like that. Yeah, Marvel's not really looking too special besides those new figures. So I'll see you guys. All right, guys. So I just uh, am not believing my eyes right now. The employee came out from the back. She brought out Chuck Taylor. But she also brought out the one of 300 Chris Jericho Series 8. I'm definitely grabbing both for thrill of the purchase. Regular and the rare one. That is a score. I cannot believe my eyes right now. I, this is the first rare figure that I found at a store. I, I'm just like shocked. Lost for words. Like this is crazy. Never have I found one of the AEW like chase figures. This is crazy fucking shit right now. So Yeah, I'm just like in awe. So I'll see you guys next clip. All right guys So here's the DC stuff same stuff as I saw last time. I got Batwing, the Joker 
in the Batwing again, and Duke Thomas. They got the Batman classic TV series figures. They have the Riddler. Uh, they got some of these comic book figures. They got a bunch of these. Some of these ones I never seen. These are called DC Direct. Um, some Flash figures on clearance. And they got the Michael Keaton Batman. Pretty cool. They got some of these on the bottom. Um, and yeah, that's it for DC. So I will see you guys when we take a look at that. Alright guys, so here the Funko Pops. They actually got some new stuff in for once. So they got the protectors. And they got a bunch of the uh, Disney 100. Uh, that's so Raven Pop. We got Raven. They got a bunch of anime. They got this cool Harley Quinn comic cover. I really like that design. Harley Quinzel. They got Mr. T. This is a new one I didn't see last time. We got WrestleMania 3, Hogan Andre, but it's an Andre the Giant Pop. Uh, they got a Deadpool in the Christmas sweater. Oh, they got a Bob's Burgers Pop. This is the Young Bob. I never knew what Young Bob looked like. That's a pretty cool one. i never seen that one before. Darth Vader all the way tucked back there, if you could see him. Um, Doc Ock, we got George Clinton. I don't even know who this is. I think he's some, like, singer. Because it's a Rocks one, so. Um, so. Yeah, that's it for Funko, so I'll see you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here are the NECA figures. It's just a fucking complete mess. So I'm not gonna really look at everything, but this is all they have. So they have the Misfits Fiend. This one looks really, really, really cool. I saw someone put in, like, the wrestling aisle. They had the, um, it was, like, the ultimate Misfits Fiend. Um, they got a bunch of random stuff. They got a Halloween 2, NECA 2-pack of Dr. Loomis and Laurie Strode. Really like that 2-pack. Wish they had a Michael Myers NECA figure. But they got that one up there. I have the one in the blue suit. This is, I think, from the Halloween 2 movie. With, like, the blood dripping down from his mask. Um, They actually do have Michael Myers over there. You can't see him behind the Jaws figure, but there he is. But, yeah, it's just a complete mess. But this is everything they have here in the NECA section. So, I will see you guys back in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're here at GameStop. The mall just opened. Let's see what they have inside. All right, let's see what they have for us today. We got some of the new pops. Big Boss Man. Some up there. There's a bunch of stuff. Got some Ray Repulsa. We got the Rob Zombie. British Bulldog. It's a bunch of stuff. I'm on the bottom here too. Have a nice day. Do you want the overseas? Yeah. Okay. Some, some Mario. Let's see what they got here. Some AEW figures. They got Nick Jackson, Brian Cage, and Powerless Hobbs. No other Street Fighter figures. In there. Nothing really too much in here. So, I will see you guys in the next clip when we have Alright guys, so we're here at the video game trading post. Let's go in and see what they got. They got a PS5. Alright, so here are all the pops. They got a ton of them here. They got Whit Merrifield. These are some older ones. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Trey Young. A lot of sports ones. So far. Jackie Robinson. I never found that one anywhere. I'm so overwhelmed right now. If you guys watched one of my other swimming videos, I remember I was so overwhelmed in the store. They have a ton of stuff back here. They have more back here too. Ton of pops. Ton of like old video games. Jimi Hendrix is a cool one. They got Zayn Malik. I never knew Zayn Malik had his own like Funko Pop until just now. I 
I know they had more on like the other side. But yeah, this is just a lot of stuff to take in. And then over here, they just have some like Sonic. But I saw they have these Kenny Omega um, Street Fighter uh, wrestling buddies for only 20 bucks. I have this one already though, but they have some pops on this side here too. Some like Marvel. They have a bunch of different ones. Ooh, they got like Snoop Dogg. That's an old one right there. The Christoph Porzingis. Bella Porch. Mookie Betts. They got a ton of pops on this side. Sir Mix a lot. That's a rare one down there. Just some other stuff. All right, I'll see you guys back in a little Alrighty, guys. So there's an entire back wall of pops. I did not get a chance to look at it, but this is the back wall. Um, so they got a ton of different ones from Marvel, DC, uh, Netflix. WWE is mixed in there. Uh, more Ricky Steamboats. Got a Leprechaun. Uh, George Gervin. Basketball. They got some baseball, football, George Kittle. If you guys are into sports, subscribe to my sports channel, JDX Sports, link in the description. Ketel Marte, Steven Strasburg, a couple older ones. There's another Trey Young. Ugh, man, so much to look at. Oh, there's another football one, Jerry Judy, and then there's a Mookie Betts Red Sox one. Oh, look it up there. They got a Zion Williamson um, is that a comic cover and a Justin Herbert comic cover. Or like a trading card cover, whatever. Pop trading cards. Sean Stockman from Boys to Men. Bunch of different ones left to right. Alright, I'll see you guys back in a bit. Alrighty, guys, so I came across the magazine section and I found a lot of these old WWE magazines from back in the day. I can't show this one because, you know, controversy, obviously. Best of 2007. They have a lot of these from the 90s, too. Best of 2002. You have The Rock versus Lesnar. There's a bunch of them. Batista, Triple H, Hell in a Cell. Like, there's a ton of them to look at there. I'm not going to go through each one, but there's a ton of these. Like, see? Look at these. These are, like, old school. This is, like, what you used to get at, like, the magazine stores back then. I'm not going to go through each one because there's a ton of these, but, you know, there's a lot of them. Like, see this one, Triple H? There's one with, like, The Rock and stuff, so. Yeah, there's a bunch of these cool magazines that I came across this whole, like, section. So, I'll see you guys, guys. back so we're back home now from Toy Hunting. It's been a couple hours now. We really found some awesome stuff today at Target. We picked up two amazing figures, one extra special, one hidden gem that you can't find anywhere. First, let me show you guys what we picked up. So, first figure we picked up today is the AEW Unrivaled Series 8 Chris Jericho. I was really, really happy that I found this figure because it was really hard to get when it first came out. I was searching everywhere for this figure, never found it in the store out of anybody from this set. These were the figures I always found. Moxley, Statlander, Orange Cassidy, and the Best Friends. I never saw this guy anywhere. But when you go early in the morning, you get lucky. So I found this guy. But as you know, a major toy hunting tip is ask in the back if they have any figures if you do not find a figure you're looking for on the shelf. Now... I asked the Target employee to see if they had any more AEW figures in the back. Because, you know, everybody's hunting for them these days. Especially now with the new Target exclusive Samoa Joe that's out. However, um, this Target employee was such a real one. She brought out two figures. She brought out Chris Jericho and Trent... I mean, not Trent Beretta. Chuck Taylor. And it's not the Chris Jericho that I just showed you. It is a Chris Jericho that you cannot get anywhere else. She brings out to me, and I could not pass on this figure, the one of 300, or one of 3,000, whatever it is. It's called one of 3,000 Chris Jericho, the rare one. Look at the sticker, rare edition. 
I mean, it's the same figure, same pants, same jacket, just a different face. One's like the Painmaker, one's just like a regular version of Jericho. And you can see the packaging's different too. This one's like in gold um, and stuff like that. So, as you can see, the packaging's different too, like the pictures of him. There's one with him without the hat, and then one with him with the hat. So, I was really glad I got both these figures. I don't know which one to do. Like, I don't know if, like, I should open this one or keep it on card. I don't really know. Like, I like this one more because it represents Jericho. Jericho doesn't really go Painmaker that much anymore. So, I mean, I'm glad to have a Painmaker in my collection because I love that gimmick. But, this figure was the highlight of the day. I want to shout out that Target employee for bringing this out. Really, really awesome. Can't believe I got this in my hand. Like, these figures are worth for to like $100, $200 the max. I walked out the store with this for 20 bucks. Can't beat that, right? Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next clip, the outro of this video. Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys thought of today's toy hunt video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of today's pickups. Also guys, be sure to follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down below in the description. If you missed yesterday's toy hunt video, be sure to check it out in the description below of this video to, you know, to see what I found and see what I grabbed. However, if you guys like what we grabbed, tell me in the comments below what you guys think of the two figures we picked up. Anyhow, today, that's going to wrap it up. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so you guys know what to do. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video. Josh, out. Peace. Okay.